Where would you like to see the um, Where would you like to see the fandom go? Just a little bit that I know. It seemed like the uh, the base has decreased the short time that I've been a collector. I really try my best to try to intrigue and show my collection off, hopefully making people feel that's pretty neat. I want to try that myself. I want to get some new ones. I'm going to try to start collecting them now from year on, uh, you know, the 23s, the 24s. And I just try to do my best to throw out different things to help people become intrigued with the collecting of the Hess. You know, they're playing devil's advocate. There's actually a flip side to that. The, the P's and the Q's, the less that's out there, the more valuable things become. Sure. You know, a lot of times uh, something that I get every toy show, every meeting, every time I'm interacting with fans, I always get those people that are like, oh, I destroyed them when I was a kid. You know, I, I played with it. Well, first of all, yeah, you played with it. That's why you have the love to begin with. If you never played with it as a kid, you wouldn't have that love. You wouldn't be here. Sure. That's the logical fallacy right there, right? But if you think about it, if all those people didn't destroy their trucks, then the ones that have survived wouldn't be the value That's that true. they are today. That's I mean, you have people spending thousands of dollars on a single truck. Hello, hello, hello. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, if you look at it that way, the value it is today is because, A, it's a combination of people that played with it and loved it and destroyed them. Yes, they did. 